Welcome back to Let's Replay Neverwinter Nights 2 Mask of the Betrayer. This is Big Los, and we're starting off here in the upper part of the Death God's Vault. We traveled here off camera, and we are going to explore the rest of the lower depths. But first, we have some scribes here that we haven't dealt with yet, because we haven't got the option. Not because Almanjaro wasn't saved. So maybe we'll get the option now to devour their souls. So the deception is laid bare. You have seen beneath your mask, betrayer. Do not ask us to choose sides again. Their first crusade was a beautiful lie, masking a purely selfish end. Alright. So we're gonna devour them. Unleash your hunger upon the scribes and devour them. And we went three more points towards evil. The scribe's passive expression is replaced by one of terror. Somehow he knows the hunger within you. He can sense it reaching forth. Please, this is not our punishment. It is not just. They have doomed for the faithless, and we never doubted, never please. No, we're not interested in justice, we're interested in consuming. So we got one, two, three, four volatile spirit essences. Actually, I think it's five. And a brilliant one. Let's check the inventory. Ah, so we can make another pristine spirit essence. Actually, it was four. Alright, well, I can't really think what I want to put these pristine essences on, so I think I'll just hold on to them, because if you consume one of those pristine essences, your spirit energy will go back to 100 right away. I think if you consume a volatile one, it's only 5. And we still have a bunch of offering urns that we could loot. We could get one of those... Dread Wraiths here. And then we could devour its soul. And then take whatever is inside. Whoa. Take whatever is inside the urn. And then down here, it's even better. It's a shadow of the void in each urn. And each one gives you a brilliant essence. So I don't think we went over here yet. No, we haven't. It's a good thing I didn't change you back from a rogue because I'm going to need you to unlock doors and disarm traps. Ah, it is traps. Let's examine it. Okay, so examining the trap reveals that the DC is 33. That means the disarmament is going to be 40. That's kind of difficult. I'm not going to attempt to recover it. That's going to be too difficult. So let's disable. How can I help? We need to turn your trap disarming things off. There we go. Move that way. So we succeeded. We actually rolled a 20 on that one. Wow. Actually, what, what was I thinking? We, we could have beat the DC with the 5 with this modifier. But we would have had to roll a 15 or better to recover it. You have need of me? It doesn't matter, really. So we opened this door, and there's another locked door. Plus, I think this is a prison. These are all cells. Inside all the cells are mummies. Yep, there's a mummified priest in here. I don't think we'll be able to devour their souls, though. Let's see if we can use the silver sort of gif. Let's do... Chilling Wrath. 
see if that works at all. Ah, and inside these cells are more mummies. Alright, so here we do 32 points of cold damage on it. Actually, 23 and 32. 55 points of damage. I'll handle this one. Thank you. Um, how did it die? It's dead, right? No, it, it dropped to the ground. Oh, it failed a fortitude save. So, how exactly does that work? Three beams of freezing cold energy are directed at a single target as separate range touch attacks. If all three beams successfully converge on the target, they will include with a large explosion of ice and energy dealing additional damage to enemies in the area. Fortitude save prevents knockdown on a selected target, so we must have knocked him down then. Infinite resonance is a sound wave. So what does this do? Unity of will. Allows the wielder united purpose. United in purpose. Allies to the wielder united purpose are granted bonuses similar to those found in the spells Mind Blank and Heroism. Oh, nice. Nearby enemies are given penalties similar to the spells Fear and Crushing Despair. A broken circle, the wielder is protected from physical harm and magical attacks in the same manner similar to spells Premonition and Spellman. Oh. Well, we have shades to give us that, kind of. Because it's protection from spells, which is better than spell mail. Perfect rejuvenation. The wielder is restored as if affected by the spells of greater restoration and regenerate. Penetrating edge, it's all physical damage to maximize. Anti magic edge, it's target must save or be affected by Morning Cadence Disjunction. That'll strip all buffs. Defensive edge for a short while the sword confers confers a significant bonus to the wielder's armor class. Oh, okay. Do we have to restore its charges? You have to do like meditation or something on it? Oh, we got spell resistance 32 by holding this thing. Oh, I'm never letting this thing go. All right, one of many. I need you to unlock these doors. Looks like only one of them. It was a mistake to challenge me. Whoa, what just happened? To the city of judgment you go. Alright, we unlocked that one. Whoa. Press the attack, quickly! Looks like we're affected by some type of debuff. Yeah! I'm not really sure what it is though. Oh, is this where you get the rags? Oh crap. Alright, I'm just gonna open all these doors. And I'll just let my party deal with these guys. Ah, oh, a ton of essences, huh? Alright, let's just attack these things. Well, I didn't put on any buffs. I wonder if we can devour this thing. Probably not, though. Uh, too late. Oh, we got the silence cast on us. To the city of judgment you go. What's wrong with you? You're stunned? Oh. 
Okay, is this thing near death? Let's see if we can devour it. No, we can't. It's dead already. Okay, let's try devour now. Did it say invalid target? Yeah, sure did. These enemies will not stand against us for long. I do have so much HP cast here, that's what I want to know. Oh, we can get sneak attacks on these things, huh? Nice. Alright, let's loot the armor pile. What is this? Half plate plus five and over 1700 gold pieces. Throw that in there. Shield of the Void, anybody want this thing? No. The rags are over here. And of course we get some essences. No, no rags, just gold. A couple gems. And the wondrous gloves, which is they're only good for bards, or we're gonna sell them. If we ever make it to a store, which we probably won't. Here in the rags, we don't find any rags. We find padded armor plus five and over 3,500 gold pieces. Okay, I guess we can put the gems in there too. And the essences. Over here, we have some more essences. And some more rags with a cloak. Greater cloak of protection versus good. That's pretty useless. And over 2,700 gold pieces. Oh, it looks like I forgot something. Yes. You grab that. Yes. All right, let's grab this. More essences and armor pile with robe of acid resistance and plus five chainmail. Just some generic items. What is this again? Morning ring. What happened to Star here? Didn't he want this thing? Alright, let's go over here and grab the rest of this stuff. Oh, this is trapped. Where's one of many? Let's grab this. Yeah, just disarm that thing. You have need of me? Over here. We have Stinky Cloud, a potion, oh, four portions of heal and 2,000 gold. Alright, you got it. So you have need of me? I think we're in here already. Yeah. Alright. Now that this door is unlocked, let's go over here. Do we have anything good here? Where's my dark vision? It's not really helping too well, is it? Oh, it's our buddies, the Death Lords. Effortless, though. Okay, how about on death to death? Will that work on you? Alright, he didn't resist the spell and he failed a f well, will save. I wonder if, if that did anything. Do I have anything here? Eagle Splinter shape change or about this one? Oh, there we go. I'm gonna cast Rage. We can't do it. Why not? Yeah, attack. 
Sure, I can do that. You go attack, you do something. How about a sunburst? To the abyss with you. This one stands no chance. Yep. 300 points of damage on death to death. It's now dead, but we have another death lord and another death lord. Kaylin, you don't have a death to death. Okay. We have one sunburst for Janik. We might as well... I guess we might as well conserve it. We'll just fight these things. Where's the death lord? Here it is. Let's attack him. Oh, were we knocked down? Who's this? Who did I take control of? Casavir? Alright, well. Let's do protection from evil. Time to put these weapons to some use. <laughs> All right. Now I wonder if we're able to devour our soul. Devour soul. Or valid target. Valid target. Come on, a little girl like me got you scared. These enemies will not stand against us. Be careful with these guys. They have size and they do time three damage. <laughs> Yeah, we took some damage, but not too bad. We'll grab all their essences. Uh, we have a ton of skeletons that we can loot. They all have gold. I'm sure if we wanted to buy something, that would be useful. Grab that. We'll grab the rest of the gold that's here. Okay. That's all you guys were guarding was a bunch of gold? Very well. I guess we can move on. So we already explored this area. We got all the treasures. We were over here and we got the Lamentations of the Dead and the Tome of Profane Rebirth from this area. So now all that's left is to go through the Betrayer's Gate, which is over here. But, we have a Lich King and a bunch of undead guarding the place. I know that if you have Eternal Rest and you use it on this guy, you get a pristine essence. I'll handle this one. Yeah, why don't you go handle it then? Ooh, Vampire Ancient. Ah! Alright, Kaylin used Sunbeam on the vampire. Oh, we're silenced, huh? Okay, where's the vampire? Use Sunbeam. Up, there you go. Let's get them. I think I can do that. You are way back here. Go up more. Press the attack, quickly! Okay, we're silenced. Ah! Never good for a mage to be silenced. So we're gonna get out of that zone. Maybe now would be a good time for our epic game. Hmm? Man, you are way, way back here. Move up. 
I. All who can hear, follow. Press the attack, quickly! <laughs> Give me a moment, <laughs> and this will all be over. Vampire is not gonna last very much longer. Where is he? Alright, we're gonna do Devour Soul, even though it's probably not gonna be a valid target. Oh, it's another priest. I got big beast. Good one. Well played. Attack the enemy! Alright, Amy. What are you gonna do? I guess you could do premonition and shadow shield on yourself. I'll handle this one. I'm gonna have to rest anyway because I did cast shades earlier, but it wore off when we went over that cutscene with, uh, with the founder. All right, Lich King, can we devour you? Uh, we can't do anything. Oh, how did one of many die? Nishka died again. Enemies have fallen upon us. Where is everybody? Nishka's over here. This one's dead. We can't, we can't go over there? Somebody leveled up. Dan did. Right, so we have a death rule over here. We still need to resurrect the Nishka. <laughs> See, the problem is, is these things have the times, actually, I think it's times four critical hit, and they get a lot of critical hits. Why don't you stop being useless, Casimir? Alright, where's Chandra? Over there being useless. We have a large party for a reason. Time to put these weapons to the ah! I will be still baby. No. Alright, we're gonna heal one of many. Yeah, you need to get out of here. Obviously, you're being picked on by the Death Lord. Oh, Caitlin the Dove, you too? Guard. Foes well, obviously, these guys keep getting critical hits, don't they? All right, we're gonna have to do another epic gate. Sure, I can do that. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. What is wrong with you? Oh, there's two death lords here. You're sandwiched between them. Oh, I see what happened. Gotta do a sunburst on you. Betrayer. Time to put these weapons to some Leave use. this mummy. Oh, take care of the death lord. All right. Let's do a firebrand. Okay, I think we killed him. Oh, uh, there's still. Okay. Let's heal Caitlyn the Dove. We're going to next oh, we can. No, we can't move. Oh, are we stuck? We're stuck. Oh, we still have another vampire here. Alright, heal you. Orc. I guess that's what I get for not buffing you guys up. 
Y'all can't take care of some vampires? Alright. You heal Chandra. You can't. Of course you can't. What is wrong with you? Alright, do regular heal. Can't do it. Mentosus Forma. Okay. Do the same thing with Kalen the Dove. Mentosus Forma. Yes. All right, you're gonna have to resurrect again. Mangnum ra ra matir. Yes. Have you lost any levels? Doesn't look like it. You have need of me? All right, let's grab the treasure bags. Shroud of the Elder Doom. Immunity to death magic. Use finger of death twice per day. I don't think anybody can really use that. Grab all that. That's what I get for not buffing everybody up. See, you need damage reduction. We got some gold, we got some more essences. In fact, we could loot all the sarcophagi here and get gold. At this stage of the game, it's really not going to do us too much good. Oh wow, we got nearly 13,000 out of that one. Oh, 13,500 out of that one. Wow, we got a ton of gold here. About over here. More gold. More gold. 9,600 gold. Yeah, we're just gonna loot everything. It's all mine. Over 10,000 in that one. Nearly 7,500 there. Nearly 12,5. Uh, there goes one of the Baylors. Oh, look at, looks like we looted these already. Well, just that one. Got 56,000 out of that one. And over here, we looted it. All right. All right everybody's back up. Yes. We're going to level up again. Yeah, I guess we'll just give you another Spirit Shaman level. I guess we'll improve your charisma. Next. Do Concentration Spirit. Spellcraft Spot Survival. Okay. I will lead now. Follow. Let's examine this thing. Oh, we can't. A terrible wrongness hangs in the air. A sense that this gate... No, should not sorry. Be... I can't do that. I told you not to pick the locks. But you're going to do it anyway, aren't you? Or was it disarm traps? Though it is nearly the twin of the gate on the upper level of the vault, the markings are different and powerfully alive. The keyhole is the same, though. A thin, vertical opening of identical size. As you look upon the door, the presence within you rises and contorts. But there is no pain. Rather, you feel the excitement. A yearning to pass through the door. Kaylin, do you know this gate? This gate is what I've been seeking. If only I could have found this door or opened it, the Second Crusade might have had a chance at life. Akachi created this portal to bridge our world and the realm of the dead. It was to be the road on which his armies would march on the City of Judgment. Let's lay our hand upon the door. The presence surges, shrieking in your ears, screaming its exultation. Beneath your hand, the gate is alive, somehow aware of you, filled with memory. Betrayer! The word is both a curse and a roar of acclaim. It surges through your mind, repeating again and again until the voices multiply, and there are many laughing, shouting, screaming a name. Betrayer, betrayer, Akachi the betrayer. The voices are all around you, mortals, angels, dragons, and the forsaken dead. They are in the chamber, 
They are surging forward through the betrayer's gate. They are surging forward and the gate is closing and the voices fade. And the room is empty once more. Alright, let's insert the sword of Gith into the keyhole. Alright. So, what exactly are we looking at? Is this like a mirror? Looks like one a little bit. Alright, let's go forth. This is the gate that was the threshold of the First Crusade. Beyond lies the Fugue Plain and the City of Judgment, Kelimvor's domain. Are you committed to this then? Are you having doubts? If you are, you can leave. You will not get rid of me this easily. I hope the one who lies in the wall is worth it. I think I like you better than the one we go to save. What do you mean? There is a certain purity in what you are. And if you hunger, at least such hunger is honest. At one time, long ago when I was the dreamer in his cell in Mulsantir, I did not believe that another would offer themselves up to save me. It is easy to forget such kindnesses when walking these lands. Now I find myself in the unfortunate place of being tempted to offer myself up to save you. A strange turn in the road, I think, but an important one. Whether you are a Kachi who hungers eternal, or a wayward hero from the West, you are more to me. You are nature itself, a storm, a spirit whirlpool into which one may be lost if one is not careful. And you are a thing which I think the gods themselves must bargain with, if they are to maintain their grip on their worshippers. Uh, thanks for standing by me. Yes, well, perhaps we can speak more later, assuming there is a later for us. The Betrayer's Gate gapes open, leading to the City of Judgment in the Fugue Plain. Once you enter, it is unlikely you will be able to return. Okay. We could stay here and do some more things, but I don't think there's anything really left to do. I don't think I really need all those spirit essences I'm leaving behind. And I sure do not need the XP. So let's enter the gate. Alright, so thus we'll begin the end game. We won't be able to go back to Molson Tier anymore. Hopefully there will be souls to devour lest our spirit energy drops to an unacceptable level. It has been a long time, Akachi. It is time we finish this once and for all. I've heard of you. Zoab Fallen Solar, one of Akachi's three lieutenants during the First Crusade. Exiled, not fallen. I still battle evil and tyranny in my own way. If you say so, there are Akachi's other lieutenants. They wait us up ahead at the supplicant's gate. I thought there'd be more of you. Our forces are positioned at various points along the wall, waiting your order to attack. The city's defenses will be spread thin trying to defend against them all. What exactly do our forces consist of? A host of Celestials has accompanied me, and Ramak will no doubt conjure servants as needed. Seiryu has come alone, same as before. It looks like they sent people out to meet us. To parlay, yes. Perhaps demand that we turn away and leave. I trust there's no chance of that. We'll see. You've cut too far to waver now. Come. Our enemies wish to parlay. Alright. I'm guessing we can rest here, right? Yeah. And it's safe, too. Right? So I'm guessing we'll get a chance to do some battle here. So, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to end the episode here, and I'm going to rest and put the buffs on all my main characters. Why you're not regenerating? Oh, you are, slowly. 
And then we'll come back and, you know, we'll go talk to this militia over here and see what we can do and see if we can actually turn Kaylin against us. So, in the meantime, this is Big Low signing off. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. And Tango Wendy is.